Welcome to the Daily Connection. Your connection to God in His Word every single day. Good morning, preacher. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, we, 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 Counsel of the mighty God. That's why we call the day wonderful. Amen. Amen. It's a wonderful day to be alive. It is wonderful to be able to hear your voice this morning. And it's going to be even greater to hear the message that you have for us this morning. So, Pastor, I'm going to step out of the way and I'm going to let you uh, uh, do what you've been doing for 27 years. And that's given us the good news. So, here he is, Pastor Mark Wells with Christ in Action. Pastor, you got it. All right, indeed. Delighted to be sharing good news as we do every single day. We call it news we can use because it's news from heaven. As the one songwriter said, melodies from heaven rain down on me. And as BB declares, every it brings us in. It is about our Lord Jesus that in order to save us, in order to save the day, uh, he, he, he came, he put himself in harm's way, an extraordinary love, not an ordinary love, but he showed his love for us and the father's love for us in that he was willing to lay his life down for us. You know, in this world, unfortunately, words are bountiful and plenteous, uh, but the Lord Jesus declared to us that greater love had no man than this that he laid his life down for a friend. And then he said, I call you friends because the servant doesn't know what his Lord is doing. I don't call you servants and I call you friends. And then to prove that he was a friend indeed, he, he laid his life down for us. And it's him that we declare every single day. That's why we can be joyous in the morning because he got up, we got up with him. And so then today, we are especially suited in him to be strong. And that's the series that we are in suited as we've been talking about in beginning and in this phase that we've been talking about putting on Christ and how we do that as we are born again and we are converted. Then we must walk in him and live in him. And of course, on that great day, in the moment in the twinkling of an eye, we shall be changed when he shall appear we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. But in the meantime, we're in this journey of life until the Father sends the Lord Jesus for us. And as we walk this life out, we are to be strong. It says in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Whenever we read the scripture, it's so important for us to know that the Holy Spirit uh, cause those things to be written and spoken to us to know that this is God's desire for us. This is what God's intent and plan for us. Strength is your light in life. That 
Yes, yes, strength is your light in life, not weakness, not failure, uh, not not, uh, not struggling and not being able uh, to overcome. But as we accept and embrace Christ, we are told in 1 John 4 that uh, we are of him and we have overcome the world. For greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And then in 1 John 5, we're told that whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Now, that faith rests in the truth of God and his word and what he has done for us in Christ. And as such, we can be strong because he came to give us strength. The Bible teaches in Romans chapter 5, when we were yet without strength and without God in this world, that God sent Christ in us, to for us and after us, and that he commended his love to, to, towards us so that while we were yet sinners, he died for us that we might live with and through him. So then, inasmuch as he came to give us life, what kind of life do you think he came to give? Well, the life that we saw in Jesus was a life of power, one of love, one of discernment, one of self-discipline. Jesus was a powerful example of God to us. And you know what? The reason that you need, we and I need to know that, we often talk about him as being a savior, a redeemer, a Lord, a king, but he's your example, friend. The strength that you see in Jesus is the strength that God has designed for you and I, that we walk in that same strength and power. Why? Because Christ is in us. That's what the apostle Paul says in Colossians chapter one, how that God made known to him the mystery, which is Christ in you, Christ in me, Christ in us, the hope of glory, not just of heaven one day, but the hope of a life strong in the Lord and the power of his might. He goes on in the 28th verse of Colossians chapter one to say, whom we preach to present every man, woman, boy, girl, perfect or mature and complete in Christ. See, that's why we spent the time talking about being clothed in Christ. As you and I are clothed in Christ, we're clothed in strength. We're clothed in love. Uh, we're clothed in power. We're clothed in wisdom. All these things are ours, and uh, we can just be what we're made in Christ. In fact, it is a rest when you and I look to him and learn of him as he in summons and invites us in Matthew 11 to take his yoke upon, him, uh, upon us. That his yoke is easy, his burden is light, that he would give us rest for our souls as we learn of him. Learn what? Learn life by his design and his strength, power, and ability. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on daily on this Gospel Explosions outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond where Jesus is our joy and the dream of change remains alive. That together you and I have a difference. It makes a difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this wonderful Wednesday, Pete. Man, I tell you what, some people know how to rub it in. Man, <laughs> I, 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 I tell you, we, we appreciate you, Pastor. A great message, man. I know, I know without a shadow of a doubt that that, that message is home. And, and man, they keep up the great job you're doing. And we look forward to hearing you again in the morning with another Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir. Blessings on you and your 53 plus years and going in gospel and the radio. And so, Lord willing, we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye -bye. All right, Pastor. You have a wonderful day. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All righty. Let's all together have a wonderful Wednesday in the strength and the might of our Lord, our King, our Savior, our Champion, the one who reigns and causes us to reign with him, who lives in us, through us, and grants us his power, his wisdom, his love, and ability. Hey, remember this.
God loves himself some you, and we do too. You matter to God, and you matter to us. We'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye for now.